the vaccine uh, mandates uh, that have been going on. Th- this has been absolute, just a, you know, just when you think it, it, the country just can't get any weirder, we, we're we like, hold my beer. And we, <laughs> <laughs> right. And we, and we just go ahead and, and we literally have people fighting against vaccines and wearing masks and what it's like a Twilight Zone episode. It's like, yeah. Right. It's like a Twilight Zone episode. And worse, they're stealing the reproductive rights language saying my body, my choice. And it's like, well, <laughs> no, I, I, it's it, yes. like you, you don't like <laughs> when we're talking about bodily autonomy, you don't have a right to give me COVID. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Like, the, yes. like. Vaccine, like I would, vaccine mandates have been around since before the revolution. Like the, there were like in the 18th century, there were smallpox vaccination requirements that were supported by Thomas Jefferson and Ben Franklin. This is very normal. Like when polio was a disease in the 1950s, they not only mandated it, they gave it to kids in school. And you know what? People were grateful because polio was a terrible disease. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is this is a very frustrating thing because I, I think that the most relevant thing is that you see all these Republican politicians saying that they're against vaccine mandates or COVID vaccine mandates very specifically, but they actually stand, they support all other vaccine mandates. They, they like, because if you've right. been to a yeah. public school, you had to prove that you were vaccinated. <laughs> Absolutely. Went to college, you had to prove you were vaccinated. And so it's literally only this one particular disease that it's suddenly your right to be a public, uh, like a hazard to other people's health. And that's where I think, you know, the, the notion of bodily autonomy is, you know, your rights and where my nose begins. But when you're coughing COVID into my nose, you know. <laughs> Totally. It's violating and they will, my body. And they will autonomy. do that on purpose too, right? Like yeah. people people are like literally trying to do that at the same time. Yeah. No, that's a that's absolutely a great point. Um yeah, ab- absolutely. I I think it's just because the Democrats said to do it or the liberals yeah. said to do it. Literally, I think that's what it is. It's like uh, if liberals support something, I mean, there's going to be half the country that goes, "Nope. They're going to find a way to, to to say this is not the way to do it regardless i i really feel that way you know i I don't even think it has anything to do with the vaccine mandate what's sad is people are putting their life literally uh through that test and they're losing their lives that's another thing why are republicans like hey we're losing voters here why (laughs) you know like why are we not doing something we're losing voters left and right like why right like that's that was my first thought way back in the summer i thought why why would if i was a republican leader i'd be like hey guys we listen we're 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 literally just peeling away here uh little by little yeah i i mean some of them like mitch mcconnell see it that way he's like said you know could just get vaccinated (laughs) (laughs) because it is true i think that a lot of them initially didn't think it would be i i don't know wishful thinking I, i i don't i don't really quite know exactly what the mentality was there because I, 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 when the pandemic first started before the, and even when we first had vaccines, like people in blue areas were dying at higher rates just because they were living more densely together, yeah. but the vaccines work really, really well. And if you get vaccinated, you are almost certain to die of anything but COVID. Yeah. yeah. And so when you're seeing 2000 people die a day in this country, they are basically 99% unvaccinated. Roughly, I don't know the exact percentage, but it's super high and you're seeing them die in red areas. And so like, yeah, I think what the funniest thing about this is like, I think that the irony of all this is that the more vaccine mandates that there are, the more that you have to get vaccinated to go to school or keep your job or whatever, get on an airplane. If God, if Biden would just ban it. ban the unvaccinated from airplanes that would help a lot especially before thanksgiving i i think like yeah. people would get vaccinated because it's not worth the hassle anymore and then this issue would be over they would move on to something else because exactly 
it would be done. Yeah, you're right. They move on to something else. We just need to swap it out with <laughs> another hot topic issue they can get all flustered about and and whatever. Who The, the national conversation can get all uh, swept up in. Uh, you're right. You know, I have a friend who's not vaccinated. Uh, but he's, this is literally what he told me. Um, he's conservative. You know, I have a lot of conservative friends. I live in Texas. I mean, come on. Um, and he said, um, he said, look, the truth is if like my job really pressures me, like if they said you're, you're going to lose your job, I'm getting it. That's what he said. He's like, I'm getting it. I look, I got kids. I got, I'm not going to blow my whole, you know, for, for that, but I'll go into the point I can. That's what he said. I was like, Why? What is the point of that? Like, what, what? Who are you proving to? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what? Who is this for? I, it's such a weird battle. It's a. And, but you're right. If they pressure them enough, they're going to get. They're not going to risk their whole. You know, most people are not. Well, I mean, we've seen this time and again. Um, in New York State, they had seventy five percent of the healthcare workers in the state were vaccinated um, in like July. And they announced that they were going to be va- vaccine mandates. It got up to 84%. Um, wow. And then the day before the ma- mandate came down and people were actually going to get fired if they didn't get vaccinated, it jumped up to 92%. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, and Absolutely. same with United Airlines. They were having trouble getting employees to be vaccinated. So they said, jab or your job, right? vaccination rate. People like to talk shit. They do. Exactly. But when it comes to their job, they will do what it takes to keep it. Especially if it's not a big deal, like getting a a vaccine. It took, I tell people all the time, it took me 15 minutes at CVS. Okay. I'm like, literally, and the, and, and the 14 of those minutes, I was just walking around waiting to see if there was some sort of side effect so that I could leave. So, so, you know. (laughs) I was window shopping the other 14 minutes, you know, like I played phone games. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You play phone games. I mean, it's literally pop, pop, you're done. It's over. It's nothing to like die on this hill about. Um, I just I just find it fascinating that people are dying on this hill about it and the masks and schools and Texas and Florida. Again, you know, you know, we're just so ridiculous. You know, my thing is like, OK. If our governor doesn't want to be proactive, great. But let the school let school districts decide what they want to do. And if the yeah. school district decides where well, we're going to have masks, let them do. It. But instead, he's like proact going against them to like, you know, taking them to court. On the- I'm just like, what are we doing right now? Why are- we're fighting this battle, and this is what we're going to spend our time on, fighting with each other about it. Like this is what they feel they need to do for their district and, and Republican governors are always supposed to be, you know, make the decision on the small end, right. On the, on the, on the, on the small end of thing, you know, local government, local decisions, give me a break. It's all just a big, you know, I don't even know what it, it's just, a, it's just a big like scam. I feel like, you know, in a lot of ways, I, I, you know, a lot of us aren't too hot on him ever since the snow apocalypse happened. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, because he hasn't done anything to prevent that from happening again. No. Yeah. You guys have a electric grid that's in dire need, dire yes. need yes. of yes. update. And they've had what now three special legislative sessions and it was to ban abortion. It was yeah. to make it harder to vote, but it was anything yes. but fix the fucking electric grid. Yeah. And we're going to be right back in the same problem this winter again. Like if something like that happens again, this I don't at least even know what people will do. It was only a week only. It was the longest week of my life, you know. I, bet. I know for, for a lot of people here, it was absolutely insane. And I, I just don't think people could go through it again. It, I can't even no imagine. Way. 